this thing on? Uh, oh, it is. Hi. <laughs> What is up my darlings? My name is Ashley and welcome back to my channel. I thought today would be the perfect day to make scrunchies. <laughs> we all know by now that scrunchies have been in, especially because of the Visco girls. Also though, it's such a fun, easy project, especially since we are quarantined in our house for who knows how long. Literally though, a single scrunchie can cost up to four to twelve dollars a piece. Is it just me or does that sound just a little bit ridiculous? So I thought to myself, hmm, why don't I just make my own? Before I started making these about like a month ago, I have never sewn a day in my life and literally they turn out so good every single time. Like honestly, if you're a beginner and you never sew before like me, this is such a fun, easy project. Like. Oh, you will literally be addicted to these because of how easy it is to make them and how cute they turn out to be. Like literally, I have about 20 made, like I need to start selling them. <laughs> Enough jibber jabber, let's get on into what the video is actually supposed to be about. Hi, um, I just realized while editing that there are white stains on my sleeve on my sweatshirt and I can assure you that it is cheesecake. It was my little sister's birthday and I must have got some on my sleeve before I made the video. It is not anything else, you nasty. <laughs> now back to the video. The first step is to pick out a fabric. I picked out a stretchy floral fabric. I just think it's really cute, but you can do whatever you want. Now it's time to cut it. So the width is gonna be four inches and the length is gonna be 18 and a half. Next, you're going to flip your fabric in half and make sure the pretty stuff is in the inside and the boring side is on the outside. Now, you're just going to weave some sewing pins on the outside border where you're going to sew just so that the fabric stays in place. This is what it's going to look like after you get all the pins in. Now the hardest part about this whole project, actually getting the thread in the needle. I've had to redo this part so many times, but you just want to thread your needle and then you're gonna tie two holes because one is just isn't enough. It just isn't thick enough. So I do a double so it doesn't become loose or get loose. You know what I mean. <laughs> This will be a great time to turn on your favorite Netflix show and just keep on sewing in and out, in and out until you get to the end. Hooray, you made it to the end. This is exactly what it should look like. And also, if you don't want to hand sew it, you could totally use a sewing machine. I just don't know how to use one. So good job to you if you can. Now I'm just tying up the end so it doesn't become loose. Now, snip the excess thread. I forgot what I was saying. <laughs> Alrighty, we are halfway there. Now we're just gonna flip our sneaky looking fabric to the right side so we can expose that beautiful color. This is actually really fun since mine's stretchy. I can just use my fingers, but if you can't, you can use a hook too. Now cut yourself six and a half inches of elastic. Okay, this is a little tricky, so I want you to take a bobby pin and hook it to the one side of the elastic, and you're going to have to weave it through the fabric. So as you can see, while I am struggling, I am trying to put the elastic down in there so I can reach to get it later. Keep going. You got this, Ashley. There we go. Okay, I am hooking it now so it can stay secure. And then I'm going to just take my fingers and basically slide it up so I can grab the elastic with my two fingers and then pull it all the way through. I just now secured both ends of the elastic with the bobby pin and it looks like a scrunchie. 
Now you want to prepare another piece of thread. It does not need to be very long and we're just going to sew the two ends of elastic together. Now you just keep doing it till you feel comfortable and you can stretch it and it doesn't feel like it's going to break. Just like this. It feels really comfortable. I can stretch on it and it doesn't move. Okay, I'm going to try to do my best at explaining this, but now we have to connect both ends of our scrunchie. So basically, I'm going to fold one end and then I'm going to fold the other end and then I'm going to connect both ends like that. See how it's like really flat and even? You're just going to sew that together just like that. Alrighty guys, that was the very last step. Your scrunchie is officially done. Well, that's basically it. There are many, many, many different types of scrunchies, and if you guys are interested in another scrunchie tutorial, I would love to do it because I can make a couple other ones and that'd be super fun, especially since we're quarantined. Um, but yeah, if you guys like this video, please like, comment, and subscribe. If you're new here, please subscribe. It would mean the world to me. I'm just getting this started. You guys should also go like my Instagram. Um, it's under Ashley Rose Darling, and I will hope to be having some really fancy, cute, fun content for you guys. But anyways, I hope you guys have a fabulous rest of your day. Um, thank you so much again for watching. I love you to the moon and back, and bye bye